Hello everyone. So we are halfway through November. Today is November 18th and school is just going all right. It's not going good. It's not going great. It, it, it's just different this year. Of course, it's 2020, COVID, so many changes. It's just different. We're halfway through November. I'm halfway through my third year of dental school and I still haven't done a filling. I, well, I've done a, um, a core buildup, which is kind of filling my tooth, but what I haven't done is an actual filling with composite. So, I don't know, it just doesn't feel good. <laughs> Some of my classmates have done cool things and have done some stuff and I'm happy for them, but you know, I want to do some things also and it's just unfortunate with timing, with the situation of COVID and everything. Also for the month of November, I have had my pediatrics rotation. It's a three week long rotation. I was really excited about it and I was excited to vlog about it, but I'm barely in pediatric clinic because of COVID. So instead of going to the peds clinic four times a four times a week, we only go in twice a week and we assist one of the days and then we operate the other day if there's a patient. So for example, last week um, we had a patient one day and then the second day we didn't have a patient. And then this week we'll see if we have a patient both of the days. It's just so many it's just very unfortunate that like we're having so little clinic time and I don't think it's necessarily the school's fault. It's just the situation. It's just what we have to deal with. And we don't have it as bad as the fourth years because they're about to graduate. They probably feel like they have no experience right now because they've lost so much clinic time. Even with lab work, there's just so many inconveniences and um, just annoying things because previously, pre-COVID, you would be able to um, work on your lab stuff in the sim lab or there wouldn't be a limit to the amount of people that were allowed in the wet lab. But now there's only a certain amount of people allowed. But I do have one good thing. I'm starting an implant case. To be honest, I'm trying not to get so excited because things just haven't been working out in 2020. Like I get excited about one thing, I'm gonna do a filling this day and then like it gets canceled or something like that. All right guys, it is a new day. It is Thursday, November 19th. Um, I'm gonna try to have a better day. I'm just going to try to be optimistic. I cut my hair yesterday. Well, I cut it, messed up and then realized that I should go get it done by an actual hairstylist. <laughs> so, yeah, I got it cut after I messed up cutting it myself because I realized I couldn't do it. Okay, so this morning I'm going to be assisting someone. I actually don't know who I'm assisting yet because my partner's on rotation and today is my assisting day. And then in the afternoon I have peds rotation, pediatric clinic rotation. I'm going to be assisting there as well. I hope we get a patient. I hope it's a cute little kid or... Um, not so little kids, so they're more cooperative. We'll see. And then, yeah, that's all for my day. This is my everyday routine of me putting on my PPE. First, I have to put on my gown. Then I put on my N95 mask. And in the process, I tie up my hair. I have to put on my shoe covers, my hair net, and then my face shield. Then I realized I forgot something at the dispensary, so I have to take everything off and put it back on again. All right, it's 9 a.m. and I am already done with my appointment. It went by way faster than I thought it would. So this morning I assisted someone for treatment planning and we treatment planned a crown in the posterior area, so the back teeth, and then a another crown in the anterior, so the front tooth, one of the front teeth, and then some extractions for wisdom teeth and an implant for one of the other teeth that's going to be extracted. So I learned some stuff and now I'm actually going to head home and then come back to school. I usually don't do this since I live about 30 minutes away, 25 if there's no traffic. Um, but I have to work on some lab 
work at home. I have to do a wax up for an implant case that I'm working on. So I will show you guys how I do that. I'm excited and happy that I at least have something going for me, this implant case, but I don't want to get too excited about it because when I do, it gets taken away or something happens. So yeah, I'm just going with the flow with this. Now I'm going to tell you a little bit about the implant process. So the first implant appointment that I had was a consult appointment. At that appointment, I took three alginate impressions, one full set of the maxillary and mandibular arch, which will be mounted and I will use that to make a wax up. And then I took an extra maxillary impression and that is going to be poured up in Yellowstone and I will use that to make the stent. All right, so I'm home and I'm going to show you what I came home to do. So this is the case that I'm working on. I just mounted it yesterday and I think it looks kind of horrible. Um, this was my first time mounting this entire year. So I don't know, we'll see if I have to do it over. But anyways, this is the tooth that I planned for an implant and we're gonna start doing the implant on this tooth. So. I just had the consultation appointment with the patient and we went over the pros and cons of implants um, and just things like that. The process, how much it would cost, uh, how long it takes for the bone to heal. So we have to at least wait two months for the bone to heal when we place the implant. And there's a couple steps in between. For example, First appointment is a consult appointment. The second appointment is the appointment to take the CBCT scan and to do the stent try-in. So the reason why I have to wax this tooth up is to see how it would look to the patient. For us to visualize how the implant is going to look in the mouth. And then also I had to take another impression of the maxillary arch, which is the top arch. Um, here it is. It's exactly the same as this one, except it looks a little bit better. So this uh, cast is going to be used to make the stent. So the stent is like a clear retainer type thing that we are going to use as a guide in order to place the implant. So yeah, that's what I'm up to. Now I'm going to start waxing this tooth up. So the first step that I'm taking in order to do this wax up for this implant is to take a PBS putty impression of a previous cast. So I kind of got lucky um, and had a cast from when the tooth was not extracted yet. So then the tooth was extracted and now we're gonna place an implant. So I took a PBS putty and then now I have this to use as a template. So now I'm going to use my wax in my waxer and I will pour wax into here and then place it onto the cast and then I will have something to work with. So if I didn't have this previous cast, I would just have to wax it up by hand or use some other sort of a template. But luckily I have this. Okay, so this is what I have so far. It looks a little weird because there is some bone loss um, and this tooth also looks a little bit bigger, but I was comparing it to the old cast and this tooth, uh, number eight, actually was bigger than number nine. Um, like the space in between for, for the tooth. Um, so I'm not exactly sure how to fix it. It was a little bit long when I was waxing it up, so I made it a little bit shorter, which made it look a little bit fatter so not sure i also added some wax to the tooth next to it to number nine because i am going to be doing a composite an incisal like a, a little incisal composite there a facial incisal lingual composite there because it it did it did look a little bit chipped but i'm going to show my faculty this and see what they think um, of course, I'm going to clean up this articulator before I show them and then they might have me fix it up, redo it. I don't know. I'm thinking we can also do like a gum graft up here. We'll see. I'm not sure how this process works out like exactly. Um, yeah. Jonathan is my Pete's partner. Oh my God. Hi. <laughs> Look at his astronaut suit. This is a Pete's clinic. 
We have a patient today. We're just going to do a cleaning. Jonathan's going to do the cleaning. And that is all for this week. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you guys next time.